Art lovers can now take virtual tours of the Art Science Museum's exhibitions from the comfort of their homes. And to support those in the performing arts industry, the Art Science Museum will be featuring performances from local and regional musicians and performing artists online starting this month. Anna Hager, Executive Director of the Art Science Museum and poet Cyril Wong joins us now. Thank you very much, guys, for joining us tonight. Anna, I want to start with you. First up, what do you hope the virtual tours will bring to audiences at home? Well, these uh, virtual exhibition tours are part of Art Science Museum's new online program called Art Science at Home. Um, and this is presenting online versions of education activities such as the virtual tours and hands-on workshops, as well as our flagship public programs such as talks, conferences, screenings, and performances like the one that we'll be hosting by Cyril tomorrow. I guess the tours offer a, a personalised uh, um, kind of highlights package um, led by one of our exhibition tour guides uh, through the exhibitions, which are currently still on the walls uh, of uh, the galleries in Art Science Museum. And this is important because here in Singapore and in many other countries around the world, museums like ours are closed uh, due to the impact of COVID-19. Our visitors uh, here um, and around the world are, are at home um, working and taking care of their families. So for us, these virtual tours and Art Science at Home as a wider program are now really our primary way of connecting with audiences, um, as well as welcoming new audiences from around the world. And they enable us to continue to keep telling stories about what happens at the intersection of art, technology, culture and science. Um, I guess for us it's also a, a pretty exciting new chapter uh, in the evolution of, of the museum um, and perhaps an expression of um, a more resilient and sustainable way of, uh, of museum programming during the pandemic era. Well, Cyril, artists like yourself have been uh, brought on board as well. As Anna just mentioned, you'll be performing tomorrow. Share with us some of the details of what you've prepped for the online audience. Uh, well, I was asked to do something with found objects in my home and uh, I prepared basically a very simple, almost minimalist Zen-like uh, reading of love poems within the intimate space of my bedroom, incorporating some vocals and the spontaneous accompany accompaniment of uh, wind chimes. Uh, I've designed a little intimate uh, look into uh, my life as a love poet and it is meant to be an intimate celebration of love within the context of domestic life and the harmony of everyday sounds. Cyril, so how has work then changed for you since the start of the circuit breaker? Mm, the pandemic actually hasn't changed my uh, writing habits very much, but it has forced me to confront and use technology in new and even scary and surprising ways. The challenge has been to use technology to communicate uh, my words, my poetry, uh, my instructions in class without losing a sense of honesty and authenticity. And Anna, what's the challenge, if you like, of trying to bring everything online and engaging people through digital means as opposed to or compared to actual physical exhibitions and performances? I think I think the the big challenge is is uh, is trying to tell stories that are relevant uh, in the pandemic age. Um, we've tried to do that through our online conference, Feeling the Future, which uh, draws together thought leaders from Singapore, but also from around the world, uh, to talk about possible futures um, that are relevant to audiences in Singapore, um, but also to talk about issues which have become um, extremely pertinent uh, since the pandemic hit us questions around emotional courage, mental health, social resilience, medical ethics. Um, you know, being able to provide a platform to have conversations with experts on these kinds of topics, um, I think enables us to be able to kind of cut through uh, the noise a little bit, because I think the biggest challenge of running art science at home right now is that there's, there's, there's so much uh, incredible 
uh, content being created by cultural institutions uh, around the world. And I guess the other thing which we've tried to do, um, which has been a challenge but a wonderfully creative one, is um, is uh, to deliver our education programs, like the one that we were just looking at there, uh, with the kinds of uh, materials that uh, people would have to hand at home. Uh, so therefore creating educational activities which talk about issues uh, that, uh, that touch art and science, but using materials and skills that families have got at their disposal at home uh, and can kind of bring to bear in a, in a family learning activity. All right, indeed, sounds very exciting. And thank you for sharing with us more about Art Science at Home. I've been speaking there with Ona Haga from Art Science Museum and poet Cyril Wong.